Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. May 29th is a fascinating day in the Muslim war history. On this day, in the year 1453, the Ottoman Muslim Sultan Muhammad Fateh captured the city of Constantinople. It was an amazing victory, most romantic one, a profound one which changes the geopolitical balance in favor of the Muslims. And till this day, the city remains in the Muslim hands. But what is even more profound is the fact that the capturing of this city was foretold by the Prophet of Islam, the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, 900 years before its capture in one of the most profound spiritual intelligence a hadith or saying of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is Amir Constantinople will indeed be captured and what an amazing general he would be and what an amazing army that will achieve this beautiful victory Here we see a very profound phenomena in action. That is, that geopolitics can be built on the spiritual intelligence provided by the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. For 900 years, Muslims believed this hadith, this saying of the Prophet, this prediction. And military expeditions were built to capture the city of Constantinople. From the earliest times to the earlier companions of the Prophet ﷺ, to the Umayyad dynasty, to the Abbasid dynasties, and then coming up to the Ottomans. Muslims spent so much of resources to capture this hadith, to capture this city, to fulfill this hadith, that it is said that if Muslims had deployed these resources to the rest of the world, the entire world could have been captured. But what was the motivation to capture this particular city? The motivation was the fact that Prophet has blessed the commander who would capture it and had blessed the army which will achieve this fascinating destiny. And this motivation kept the Muslim armies on the move for 900 years. Ultimately, the most blessed Sultan Muhammad Fateh under the Ottoman dynasty, under the Ottoman Empire was able to achieve the spiritual blessing of the Prophet. May 29th, is a day to remember that tectonic shift in geopolitics and a fascinating event based on spiritual intelligence. Similarly, there are multiple events that are yet to be unfolded. They are, they are going to happen as they have been foretold by the Prophet And one of them is the recapturing of India. There's multiple ahadith or the saying of the Prophet or the spiritual intelligence from the Prophet وسلم, that India will be recaptured once again and especially in the end times because it is said in one of the narration that the Muslim army is going to capture India it's going to bring the rulers of India in chains and then this army will return to Jerusalem return to Syria where they will be met with the forces of Jesus prophet of God and obviously this particular saying this particular hadith of Rasulullah is for the end times and not of the earlier wars that have been waged against India. Ghazwa Hind is one of the most fascinating spiritual intelligence that has been given to Muslims for the end times this is going to unfold just like the hadith of Constantinople which Muslim entire Muslim world believed so strongly, so firmly that they built multiple campaigns over 900 years to achieve that fascinating destiny. Similarly, now the time has come that according to the regional geopolitics also, the spiritual intelligence given by the Prophet وسلم, are now converging to one point. The army which will capture India will be the most blessed army. The army which will be, which will be deployed against India according to the multiple ahadith of Rasulullah that army would be free from fire. That army would go to paradise. That army would be the one most blessed army in the world at that time, which will be deployed against the Hindu idolatrous. What is most fascinating is that ever since the creation of Pakistan in 1947, Pakistan and India are in a constant state of war. Indians 
have been able to dismember a part of Pakistan also, East Pakistan, which has now become Bangladesh. And rest of the Pakistan is constantly under threat from the Indian Hindu expansionist mentality where they want to create greater India, just like Israel wants to create greater Israel. But Pakistan is an obstacle in the way of Indian Hindu expansion. And miraculously, and this is not accident because history does not consider of, cons consist of accidents, that Pakistan has emerged against all odds, against all historic impossibilities, Pakistan has emerged as the only nuclear armed Muslim state and is capable to hold on against the Indians and is capable enough to recapture India once again. So on this day, we renew our pledge just like our forefathers had done. For 900 years, they trusted the saying of Rasulullah and believed that one day they are going to capture Constantinople. Today, we revive our pledge, Muslims of Pakistan. And we invite the Muslims from Afghanistan, Iran, Turkey and the rest of the Muslim world to come and join us in the fulfillment of this most fascinating destiny which awaits us now, recapturing of India. According to the hadith and the saying of the Prophet it's a destiny which is written. It's a destiny which will unfold. Only the most blessed will be part of it. Just like the fact is, for 900 years, Muslim armies wanted to capture Constantinople. Wave after wave, Muslims went. Just to fulfill that prophecy, just to be amongst those blessed army and to be that blessed commander who would achieve this fascinating, mystical destiny. But it was written for Sultan Muhammad Fateh came it, and it was written for the Ottomans, for the great Usmani Sultan and his army, the Ottoman, Sultan, Ottoman army. Similarly now, the time has come for us. India has already declared a war on Pakistan. Pakistan is fighting an existential war for its survival right now. The fourth generation war which is deployed inside Pakistan is bringing up an economic, social, judicial and security collapse. The Americans and Afghanistan are planning an AFPAC military doctrine, planning an invasion from the West. Indian Cold Start military doctrine from the east of Pakistan is now ready to be deployed when anarchy and, and, and meltdown in Pakistan reaches at certain threshold levels. Very soon, India would wage a war upon Pakistan, high intensity conflict, and Pakistan would respond. Pakistan is a nuclear armed country. Our armed forces are united and firm and strong. Nation stands with the army. Despite the chaos and the anarchy, Pakistan is a very strong, stable country. And on this day, 29th of May, the day Constantinople was captured, we renew our pledge that to fulfill the prophecy of our beloved Prophet وسلم, we will fight India and recapture it. And inshallah, we will be amongst those who will be blessed according to the prophecy of Rasulullah to be that army which will once again recapture India. The Pakistani flag will rise, inshallah, on the fort of Delhi and the world will hear the voice of Radio Pakistan Delhi once again, inshallah. So once again, we invite our brothers from all over the Muslim world to come and join Pakistan in our fight against the Hindu Zionists to fulfill the prophecy of our Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa just as the Muslims from all over the world had joined the Ottoman army to fulfill the prophecy of sallallahu alaihi wa to capture the city of Constantinople. A new destiny awaits us, the time has come. Come and join hands and be part of this blessed destiny that awaits you. Pakistan, Zindabad, Ummat-e-Muslimah, Zindabad.